Good day, viewers. You are watching Nothing But The Tea with me, your host, Jemima Lebele. And so, Skela Ken, Gela Ho Fun Stories. And because we know Gela Ho Fun Stories, we have something juicy, 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 juicy for you in studio today. Um, as you know, for the past two episodes, we have been doing a short series called Taking Out The Trash, where we've gotten real open and honest and transparent about women being trash and men being trash. So we thought, okay, today is the day we finally reach that consensus. We finally reach an agreement. We finally find out what is the actual check and we finally take out <coughs> the trash. Now, as you can see, I'm joined today by two amazing individuals who are very opinionated and have very strong opinions about this matter. You know, one defending each side. So to my left, we have Quizzy, a YouTuber, who, is very, who feels very strongly about the woman being trash topic. Am I right, Quizzy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then we have Patrick Starr, a poet and a performer who also feels very strongly about men being trash. So I decided, why don't we come together and fight? I'm kidding. <laughs> why don't we come together and reach a consensus and find out what is going on? Why are these two movements, why are they even there? You know? But we have set a precedent, we have like laid a foundation to this conversation. So now we're just going to have these people air out their views and sort of try and see eye to eye if that is possible. Let's hope so. If not, <coughs> I'm kidding. So let's get right into it. So, Patrick Starr, please do tell us nah, why you feel so strongly about men being trash. Feel free to attack, Quizzy. <laughs> okay, uh, hello. And honestly, <laughs> I've experienced um, the worst in men more than I have in women, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the worst. Just like uh, general experiences from, yeah. this, um, from a level of just um, interact when I'm interacting with them. They can be extremely rude, very nonchalant beings. Men are very nonchalant. And that's a fact. You know, very non they, you know they're very, yeah, I don't care. You know, I'll just... Why do I feel like I... you're describing Quizzy? <laughs> <laughs> He's a very nonchalant person. Okay, I don't really know you, so I can't be. But generally, from what I've experienced, mm -hmm. men are very nonchalant, but, you know. The problem comes in, you haven't dealt with me, bro. True. You've dealt with the wrong niggas. So what you're the, are, so what you're are the, the wrong niggas? niggas? What, what are the wrong niggas? What, do you, what, what are wrong niggas? <laughs> Exactly what you're describing. I'm not what you described. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you not nonchalant? No, I'm it? not. Okay. I respect that. But, but this, this is so unfair. I feel like you're very nonchalant. This, this is so unfair. We have two females <laughs> and one guy here. So, I don't know. I'm the mediator. I'm the yeah. mediator. I'm she not going to take sides. Okay. Because, no, really, I can't take sides. Because I strongly do believe, and I previously mentioned this in the discussion with um, Gustavo, that I do think women are trash to a certain extent. And I do think men are trash. But which one is stronger no, for you? Which side is stronger? This is men. not about no, the men's it, side. No, I'm trying men's to This is not can, about I'm me. Not we so as asking. human beings are horrible people. <laughs> now, Quizzy, why do you think women are trash? <laughs> First of all, women are just weird in general. Second of all, you guys just do the craziest things like you know some of us are good guys like i don't know why you guys have to do certain things to us you know like as they say good guys come last and i understand that you like okay, 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 okay. <laughs> please please spell <laughs> spell on the open stories you guys must see us as what do you call it i, I think you guys see who's written on a forehead or something Crazy, I do. No, I'm joking. <laughs> That's not a joke. I'm joking. You know, behind every joke is the truth. <laughs> Have you been dribbled? You Always. sound like someone who has been dribbled. Always. That's why we are single. Stay single. Amen, but that's something wrong with you. If you are saying nah. always, then you are the problem. No, nah, there's nothing wrong with me. As I say, good guys always come last. But what is a good guy? What, what, I'm what a is good guy. Okay, no, Quizzy, like you aside, now you're defending your Yourself, whole tribe. yeah. <laughs> I'm no, defending my Like, own? I need you to, to, like, defend your tribe, like, no? your species. 
I knew that something was going on here. <laughs> Apparently, 50-50. There's no 50-50. It's, it's not. It is. I'm, I'm being as objective as possible. What labels a good guy? What is a good guy? Not to me. I'm just being honest. Like I'm a good guy. Like okay, you what, yourself. What traits do you have that make a you good a good guy? guy? I'm kind. I'm passionate. I'm good looking. Oh six one's finest. I go. <laughs> See, that's a very narcissistic thing to say, though, because okay. anyone a can be. That's dream. very narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good guy. Oh six, what finest? <laughs> That's uh, okay, now, I she think... She will laugh now, but guys, it's okay. <laughs> we'll give them time. I think um, now that we have aired our views as to why we think the both sexes are trash, I need... I, I, I would really like to know, and from you guys as well, do you think that we can look past the sexes being trash and just Never. live happily ever after? And why? Mm-mm. Let's start with you. Ladies first. Okay. Oh wow, surely. I <laughs> Thank thought you. was dead. <laughs> um, I think we as a society we've possessed so much, mm-hmm. you know, just like from um when people just from talk the talk of what do they say? The talk of town or something, the mm, talk, talk in of town, the town, talk yeah. of the town. You know, when one person says this one did that, um, this men this these men did this and that, you know, we Okay, let me say from a female point of view, you know, if someone comes and says, um, girls do this, or the, you know when they say women prefer taller men, yeah. you know, that's something that people would label as trash, you know? And then I think we people just, we possessed that trait, so it becomes us, becomes part of us. So then when the actual, like, good people do come through, it's like, nah. This, yeah. this and this about you, you know, we don't, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, do, you, do you think it's a thing of, like, um, we have, we have subscribed to, like, social ideologies. Definitely. Of what men and women should be, and, okay, but that's my next question. So, basically, you agree that people have subscribed to that. Mm-hmm. For sure, especially in this, gen- it's the 21st um, generation, man. You so, know, do you so think people also then just subscribe to <laughs> men are trash and Men are trash, like in your case, because you think men are trash. Do you think that people also then just subscribe to that as well? Yeah, and they don't even understand why men are trash. They just be, or women, why women or men are trash. They just really be defending anything. Mm. But that's, um, like, let me say 50-50. The other side, it's like, from experience and just, yeah, it's been look, man, men are trash. (laughs) They've done some dirty things. I've heard some crazy stuff. Um, men have done to my my friends, my ladies, my women, you know. So it's it's yeah, it's fifty fifty. And this thing's all about s- uh, social media. <laughs> now, now, Kuzi, do you think that you know we'd ever be able to look past these social movements? Never. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because as I said, social media. You know, nowadays people follow things on social media. Mm-hmm. So I think social media is also a problem. As, sh- as she said, that they don't even know why men are trash or why yeah. women are trash. It, they, it, they all follow a trend on social media mm-hmm. because let's say you're a celebrity and if you say men are trash, now your fans will be also on your side, men are trash, men are trash, you see. Mm-hmm. It's all about social media. Yeah. But I have a question. Can I ask a question? Please. This is a conversation. Please do engage. Why is that women or your gender mm. like objectifying us but if we objectify you guys then it's a problem objectifying what how do we objectify like you? as you say tall man blah, 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 you know oh, okay. yeah. yeah but if if i say oh you're fat then it's <laughs> a whole problem but if you say no you're short no you're fat then it, it's not a problem i think i think okay my response to that would be is, um, and we had this, con- it, it, it sort of ties into the conversation that we had last week with Gustavo, whereby uh, we just spoke about how women are like emotionally a bit more sensitive, but also strong at the same time. So like, I, I don't know 
let, let me start there. Let me start by saying I don't know, but let me continue by saying that I think, as much as I don't know and I'm not sure, I think it's because women really take that to heart. Like, we already, it's like I, society already, already makes it so difficult for us to, like, I think I can answer this one. Man. Yes, please, <laughs> <laughs> Um, When it comes to a, a, um, being fat and skinny, that is a detrimental condition, you know? Like, it's an actual, it's a condition, you know? Uh, being short is not, like, it's not a detrimental thing. It's mm. just a, it's a natural thing. You're either short or tall, or that's it. But when it's uh, fat or skinny or a certain size, then that means it, it stems from um, some sort of eating disorder. Or so it, it really does play a sensitive role, especially in a woman's. But um, sometimes life. women also act it for being tall true. or being too short. True, true, Speaking true. Speaking from experience. Rarely, but true. <laughs> Me too. I, <laughs> thank you for mentioning that. Yo, uh, being tall has become a trend now. For women especially, I don't know, I was bullied for being tall mm -hmm. in high school, mm -hmm. but now I'm a majestic tall woman. I don't know <laughs> where it's coming from. Is so it, it, I think it really depends on like what you what what is trending right yeah. now, you know? But like t speaking of trends, I would really like to know, do you guys think that um, the men are trash and the women are trash? Uh, social movements are just a result of that exactly trends. Mm. So do, you mean do you think that do you think that you subscribe to women being trash because or that you think women are trash because it was trending on social media? No. Or do you genuinely from the Yes, from what I've experienced, yes. Okay. But I think it only Not made sense <laughs> when it started trending. Because back then we wouldn't have called it men are trash. We would have just called it a heartbreak. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> I think it's also like now we have the language. For yeah, it. exactly. You know, it's it's part of our it's the generational dictionary now. You know, yeah. so I think yeah. Men deserve <laughs> less. Men deserve nothing. <laughs> now, what do you guys deserve? Everything. Are you see, <laughs> that's why women are trash. What? No, men. How can you guys deserve everything, but I deserve nothing? Ish. Okay. Uh. <laughs> From a, okay, again, from a woman point of view, it's just, women don't do much, you know, we don't, we don't, uh, what can I say, hurt people as much as, what? it's not as loud as how what? men do it, how you guys do it, you guys will, you no guys will scroof the women and then you embarrass them, and, but us, we do it low-key, man, you know, it's, you see exactly. but it's That's not as, address. so is, is the low-key the problem? Yeah. So we must do it up. You no, you see, the right. problem oh. comes in, as you said, it's not as loud as us, apparently. Mm -hmm. Because you guys be always on some sneaky things all the time. No, it's not. Should we not sneak? Like, we're trying why, to protect why, your why feelings. Am I, why am I to protect my feelings? So we should not protect your feelings. Let's have a 50-50, as you said, 50-50. I mean, on this conversation, I'm 50-50. I'm here to learn and try and reach a consensus. Try The aim of this conversation is to get to a point and to take out the trash completely. <laughs> trash being men or women or I both. I think it also depends on what you're doing, man. You know? Mm. It really does. You can't. What do you mean by like that? Men, oh, you guys cheat. Oh, no, like, phew, weird, man. <laughs> it's just so weird. You know, like, especially, especially when they get friend-zoned. Oh, that's even worse. Then they take the friend. Then they go to the friend or the sister, and then this, or your oh, mom. All. Or they start talking, you know, even your when... Mom. <laughs> <laughs> even when a, some, a girl sends them nudes, mm -hmm. then it's, I don't know, it's like their ego, man. It's like, okay, next my group... Mates have to know this. You guys do that. Uh, you guys do that. Or your best friend, you're like, yo, check this shorty out. I don't know what out. nudes are. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> nah, You've I'm never not, received I'm not go to before. church, though. Nah. <laughs> I go to church. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, but I haven't heard, like, w what what do women do, man, that makes us trash? Okay, le let me ask. What makes a guy cheat? Uh, no, a lot. I think <coughs> a lot. it's... Okay, mention it's, a few. It's dissatisfaction, mm. like in the relationship most probably. Sometimes it's just a moment of weakness probably. 
Or like this, they think yeah. the power they think they have. Yeah, and sometimes like lust is a powerful thing. Very. Okay, now why do women cheat? Temptation is also. Very I think it's also it's just exactly that it's a gr- the satisfaction. Women, no. Yeah. yeah yes, yeah. but women could do it from a. I don't want to hurt him, but I definitely found someone else. From the feeling, you see. <laughs> see, women Men do things from. Women is from the feelings. But not necessarily. I think that's also very oh subjective, days. because sometimes na, it's it the thing of dissociating yourself from your feelings. It's an individual thing. Like the woman can decide, I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep with this man. I'm gonna use him, and it's done. And then we move on. Oh yeah, we'd also do it from a point of like revenge, or just maliciously. If you did something to me, I'm definitely gonna do it better. Now, why get vengeance if you can be the bigger person oh. and just do the right thing? Is that you, my no, Lemi, that you see? Very, that's very, very... Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I really want to know. Um, cuisine. Ay, ay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> do you think, like, do, does a small part of you even, and I'll ask Lefewa the same question, does a small part of you even believe that men are trash? And why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, it's small, but yeah. And why do you say so? Because of the things that I've seen happening. Mm-hmm. Not that I've done, mm-hmm. but I've seen people do. Mm-hmm. But my point still stands is you guys are still up there. Now, what have you done as a man that has seen these things happen? As in your capacity as a man, what have you done? Like you've seen probably a woman being violated or, you know, your bra just like forcing himself on a girl. Because those are the trash things that we also talk about when we say men are trash. What if, like, do you then try and stop it? Do you then try and interject somehow? Or do you just leave it be and be like, nah, women do worse, so I'm just going to let it slide? My niggas don't do such so. There's no need for me to stop anything. That's what you think. <laughs> she asked me is what I've seen. Yeah. yeah. So Would I'm you, saying what I've enough. seen. Fair my niggas enough. have done nothing like. But say for instance you're in a social setting and it's not one of, you know, your niggas, but it's just a random person. Would you, as a man? Yeah, I've done it before. Like I've told him, nah, bro, what you're doing is wrong. Mm. Yeah. And Patrick Star. <laughs> yes. To get to you, do you does a small part of you even think or believe that women are trash and why? Uh, no, I don't think women are trash. Like at all. At all. Okay. Like I said earlier, I think women do things in a vengeful type of you know manner, like maliciously. It's like I want you to know that what you did to me, I can do to you, ten times worse. And it's not because they want to do it. It's just, I think, to teach you a lesson, man. Mm. You know, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think women are trash at all. We're lovely people, angels. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> What's your response to that? After God. <laughs> we are women. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell uh, me, tell me, tell me. Have you, but have you been in an instance where you, you've seen a woman do something trash? Or even have... Like a friend of yours did something trash. To an extent, to what like depends, man. Because me, okay, let's say it's the way it started. Mm-hmm. You know, I would have men approach my friends mm-hmm. and then say some slick shit, and then my friends would just attack, and then they would blame the woman and be like, eh, "Why didn't you just talk to the guy nicely? Or just give the guy the number or something like that." So again. It's, 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 we do things 10 times worse to teach you a lesson, but I've not really experienced any, like, yeah, a stage in my life where my friends have been trash. Or anybody or you know. Anybody I don't know. Uh, just fun fact, she knows me, so one plus one equals two. That was <laughs> <it's unfair. laughs> But it's a fact. It's a fact. It's a statement that she made. But why must you be rude to someone you don't know? Like, I approached you properly in a nice minute way. What, is, what do you consider a proper and a nice mm. manner to, to approach somebody? What do you, what do you, like, is it, hola, sister? No, <laughs> like, I come, hi, how are you? You look nice, what's your name? You know, casual conversation. 
Now, as I approach you, you did you didn't even say your name. You already those you know those facial mm. expressions. Ah, no, no. you know. Mm. Yeah, then you give me attitude from the beginning. Girls do that. I'm not gonna lie. And then what do you do in response? It's I think I think you know, objectively that it's probably like a defense mechanism because if as a woman when you see a man approaching you like you just think run yeah definitely you just think for murder sure. you just think rape yep like really you just think abuse no really you just think theft you just think the worst as a woman <laughs> as a woman say say i'm alone and a gent approaches me or your number needs a bleed and lighting on like my what number. what what to do what <laughs> To do what? No, we must be talk. <laughs> so I, yeah, boom. I think it is a um, defense mechanism. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's a defense mechanism. <laughs> You're moving mad. No, <laughs> You're moving I was mad. really no. It makes sense now that she said it, man. Like if someone a guy approached me, like my first thought would be like, man, what? Why? Do you want to kill me? What's you going know? on? You know. Yeah. This thing is getting too deep. But <laughs> but don't you think as a man, uh, as a Y chromosome? <laughs> do you sometimes do you sometimes not biology, bro. so like really as a man as a man I'm listening. do you sometimes na, not think um, say for instance you're, you're walking in town and there's a woman around and it's just the two of you do you sometimes not think oh I'm, I'm scaring her or something like just my, my, my male my masculine aura could be frightening to her if I walk this close or this fast behind her yeah, actually, yeah. And then what do you do? I don't do those things. I don't be walking fast behind people. <laughs> like, <laughs> next to people like, nah. Because I also don't like it. When, like, someone, I'm walking like this, I turn here. He's also turn here. Then <laughs> Are you scared of men? Yeah. After, after <laughs> what happened last year, I... What, what happened, happened last year? year? Spill on the fast yeah, stories. The whole robbery scene. So high. I'm still traumatized. So. You got robbed. Now please tell us. Hi. Oh, so fun stories. You know, the this more this you talk about it, the easier it becomes. No, exactly. it never became easy. You're healing. I'm not healing. <laughs> I'm still traumatized from seven years ago from the car accident. So. Sure. You you've been through a lot, eh? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Yo, I'm ashamed. It's got dark though. <laughs> <laughs> real quick, <good>, though. <laughs> it's got dark. Eh? Real, real quick, quick, real quick, real quick. But conclusively. Um, I just want to know from you guys. How do we move forward as counterparts? Nah, in like, how do we form, help, build healthier relationships with each other? W- like putting these, can we? They putting these ideas aside, these social movements aside. How do you think we we can learn to trust man and we can learn to trust woman? <coughs> Please, Patrick, start. I think it's gonna be a long run though, you know, especially like if it's a social media thing and now that social media is growing, mm. you know, one one person's opinion on someone could lead to so much, mm. you know, someone sees it and like, yeah, it's true, yeah, men did this and that, mm. yeah, that, that, so it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long run, you know, um, but I think, man, it, it starts now, just be a better person. <laughs> <laughs> just treat women properly, you know, respect them. It starts there, mm-hmm. you know, because at the end of, th- okay, m- he thinks women are trash, yes, but let's not forget or let's not cancel out the fact that women do go through a lot. Mm-hmm. Men es- go through the most. Especially from men, just generally with the things that are happening in life and in the world. Women go through a lot. So it starts with you. Just be a better person, you know. If you don't want your chick don't go and cheat. Just leave the girl and go do the things you need. The road <laughs> goes both ways, me. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking from a, you know I've not experienced it from a woman's point of view, so it's mostly men. So nah, you can never trust no female, <laughs> never. So ultimately, ultimately, as we as we uh, round off this conversation and this series on taking out the trash, the trash that we're taking out now. I guess telling me that we need to take out the trash as both women and both men are trash. Or can we agree that there is hope? There is hope. 
guys. Nah. <laughs> the thing is, didn't it start with men being trash? Where did the women being trash come from? I, I didn't hear about that. Where did that start? Aibu. Women being trash. <laughs> what do you mean, where did it start from? You know, it's just usually I, I would hear men are trash. Oh, men, men are trash. Men are evil. Men are bad people. Now it's women all of a sudden. What it did started we do? with neglations. Started with future. Ne? Oh, that future guy, bro. Yes. So the sweets. <laughs> that future guy must go back. Does he is he married? Does he have a wife? I doubt. <laughs> well <laughs> So Quizzy, is there anything you'd like to leave our viewers with in regards to do, do you okay, from the both of you now? Can you see eye to eye on the matter of No. Oh. But one thing guys, remember females will never tell you the truth. <laughs> It's a 50% chance she'll tell you the truth and it's a 50% chance she's going to lie to you. Remember that. Stay safe. So Thank you're you. still sticking to women are trash? Okay, not 50%. There's a 75% chance she's going to lie to you. 25% chance she's going to tell you the truth. Yeah. So uh, you're still saying women are trash? At least there's yes. some truth in it. Okay. At 25%. <laughs> <laughs> and you Patrick's um, Patrick son? I don't want to believe that men will not, like, never not be trash, you know? Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think I can see eye to eye to, with them. Honestly, I really don't. I don't put them in the mind, man. I really don't. I don't like men, you know, in the sense of, like, I just don't. I, I, I will not, I will not give them, what can I say? I don't know, man. It's just men are Trash now and they'll forever be trash, right? But you know, we can see eye to eye if you want. <laughs> well, sadly, we've reached the end of to this week's conversation and also this very interesting series of taking out the trash, where our guests have made it clear that in social, romantic, I don't even know, political spaces, maybe even. Let's not venture into that, but. They have stood their ground and they have made it clear that they think that men and women should all be taken out as trash. Not so women, though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, women. I am man. So, I am just uh, men. so, so for me, objectively, um, I'm, I'm not going to pick sides. I still do think that we as human beings, we all need to work on ourselves and just focus on being decent people generally. Um, all in all, make sure to be sure to join us again next week because we have an exciting guest, as always, here on Nothing But The Tea, Fun On Skin, Gelo Fun Stewardess. So from me, Jemima Ndebele, and my lovely guest, Patrick Starr and Quizzy, it's goodbye. Bye. Bye.